No, West Bat Nuri, huh? I'm Kai Woody. Mana mendapat jiwa penjiwaan? Saya. Mungkin menceritakan sedikit penjiwaan lagu tu lah. Okey, penjiwaan lagu. Okey, first of all, Nuri memang pilih lagu ni sebab lirik dia memang ada sikit kena mengena dengan my 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 ada kena mengena dengan my 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 past life, you know. Ah, uh, tapi tak adalah exactly macam tu. Jadi sebenarnya, <laughs> so I can relate it with it very well. Compared to kalau lagu putus terpaksa dengan yang lain, Nurin rasa lagu kemelut uh, di Muara Kasih uh, jarang dinyanyikan oleh penyanyi. Uh, selalunya putus terpaksa pada Behela, kan? Tujuh uh, Kasih, you know. Dan Nurin memang memilih lagu Ziana Zain sebab um, tu saya melodinya sangat Melayu. Yang mana Nurin jarang nyanyi melodi yang sebegitu. Kalau lagu pop pun Nurin akan lebih kepada uh, English songs kan. Uh, dan macam Sheila Majid, you know, Nurin lebih kepada yang itulah. Nurin tak tak memilih lagu so, yang macam itu. Memang tak pernah? Tak pernah lagu Zana Zain. Uh, tak pernah Zana Zain ataupun siapa lagi? Pak Uzal Latif tu memang tak pernah dinyanyikan. Sheila Wahajid, uh, mostly memang show English songs. Uh, that, memang Nurin punya genre macam tu kan, Nurin punya speciality is that jazz dengan R&B. Market Nurin macam tu. Nurin lagu tu pilih sebab uh, cabar dia di mana lagu tu yang awak pilih lagu tu? Cabar, apa cabar Sebenarnya dia? Nurin risau juga kalau Nurin ternyanyi macam Kak Ziana. Risau juga because Sometimes, yeah, lah. Walaupun kita professional singer, sometimes kita ada tend to follow the original singer. Tapi itu cabaran dia, because so distinct tau suara Kak Ziana dengan melodinya, dengan bunyinya. Sometimes orang nak dengar macam tu. Tapi um, because Nurin dah nyanyi lama, I don't think that I can tiru Kak Ziana, because I, even myself pun suara bit distinct kan. So, Alhamdulillah lah, hopefully uh, Nurin dapat, you know, get through the the song dan menjiwai lagu tu. It's not easy. Okay, Kak Zana ada bagi tips. I kata Kak Zana, tolong macam ni, kata kan. Lepas tu dia kata, um, you feel jiwai dengar music dan dengar lyrics lagu tu, you feel je dek. Dia kata macam tu, boy senangnya cakap kan. Dia feel je dek, lepas tu dia kata, you feel lah dulu-dulu, kita ni kan wanita-wanita tak air naya. Oh, relate juga. <laughs> relate juga lah. Kita ni kan orang dia wanita tak air naya dek, kan kan. Ah, adik pergi ke pergi ke situ, pergi ke situ. Okay, kata. but she give a very good advice dan memang bagi semangat lah pada Nurin. I thought. Saya macam, Ya Allah, betul ke? Tapi dah sebut dah, ada lagu, ada lagu. Zan Azin, kemelut dan berkasi. Lepas tu, tiba-tiba saya FOMO tau. I didn't get the memo. Everybody is doing all this dance, dance song, lagu, fast song, apa semua kan. Saya macam, alamak, kenapa saya seorang je rasa balada ni kan? Macam, so, seorang nangis bucu katil. Orang tu macam, ah. <laughs> happy, happy kan. So, I macam, um, but Kak Ziana punya, apa ni, betul lah tu, dek, dia katakan, you already pilih something yang you tak pernah buat before. Jadi, itulah dia Norin. So, you don't afraid to be yourself. So, that's what I feel also. I shouldn't be afraid to be myself. Tak perlulah nak rasa macam tersisih ke apa kan. I suruh seorang nangis bucu katil. Jadi, um, and then I focus on on what I'm doing. And then uh, this third week ni pun Nurin dah rasa more relax lah. First lah, second week memang kita rasa dia punya debarak. I macam gelabah on stage tau. Macam I want to give the best, I want to to show kan. On the showmanship, on the vocal. Because I'm very technical singer. Hmm. Kak Nurin very technical because I learn music. Very technical singer. Lepas tu dapat kemelut ni, I don't have to do anything. 
Bila arrangement Tok Ram dah tak ada Tapa Darah nanti dah Tapa You're all of this attack And that I have to learn First week dengan second week So the third week Jiwa je You know Mendapatkan jiwa So it's more relaxed Nurin tak, tak tak tanya pun Nurin jawab eh semua bagi tahu. <laughs> Sorry. Untuk nasi pula macam mana? Oh, masya-Allah. Dapat Liza Aziz. Ha, ah, masya-Allah sebenarnya Nurin memang terkejut dapat Liza Aziz. Nurin memang nak sangat. Nurin macam nak nyanyi dengan siapa eh something some something pula someone lagu yang of course lah, I nak something yang I enjoy to sing on stage because I'm a bit different, you know. Um, the genre yang Nurin buat lain jadi siapa lah yang boleh yang kata boleh ngam yang boleh ngam dan tak ngap ni <laughs> kat I mean ngam tapi tak ngap jadi and then I'd be wanting Liza Aziz memang minat dia lah daripada dulu lagi jadi Nurin try telefon you know Nurin ada jumpa few times Kan? Uh, so I call her and then she said Okay boleh I macam betul ke ni, betul ke ni? Uh, Boleh you know I want you to to, to 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 She said to win this But I said yeah I want Something that I can uh, Apa ni Collaborate with someone yang I Look up to and also Ada ilmu-ilmu yang Nurin boleh belajar So that's the reason why Nalizah Aziz. Kak Ziana di back di jat Bangkok kot. Dia tengah holiday. Tadi dah dah video call lah earlier. Ni belum lagi kejap lagi. Macam tadi kan program ada bagi warning tau macam nak dengan artis-artis yang besar. Ya. Macam Nyanyi kena duduk So benda tu Pisau tak? Pisau Bukan sebab minggu depan pun Minggu-minggu sebelum dan seterusnya You know Bila Tok Ram bercakap pun Hari risau Tok Ram tak bercakap pun Hari risau <laughs> You know Bukan risau apalah You know But but Risau tu is not to say risau Risau yang Kita akan You know It's not good It's not a good uh, Yang tak Not good punya Saya risau Tapi um, To me Apa yang Tok Ram cakap tu Banyak kebanyakannya betul Memang Throughout the rehearsal Apa semua Setiap-tiap minggu Memang dia akan cakap benda yang betul Whenever that you said You know But the thing is Like us We need to be relaxed Sebenarnya Whenever that he said something You just betulkan aja. You know? Yes, yes. To me, yes. Sebab to uh, orang ni dia macam he's very fast. He just know it. Dia tak cakap kan bila you dengar balik. Oh ya lah. You know, me as as someone who have the back music background, you know, I am macam oh ya memang betul. It really makes sense. Really makes sense in terms of cara penyampaian even the musical itself the tempo or what not the feel semua memang um, I I trust in his his uh, apa ni uh, dia punya uh, apa orang kata dia punya how he value things lah uh, serious serious so, sebagai uh, guru vokal uh, apabila uh, awak kena komen dengan uh, juri uh, dan mempersoalkan vokal awak uh, adakah awak rasa lupa akan menjatuhkan rapatan jawab bagi orang-orang yang pernah belajar vokal dengan awak ok to me it's not macam ni guru vokal itu adalah seperti doktor you know guru vokal adalah seperti doktor and then there are so many people who wants to learn to sing ada uh, doktor yang you serasi, ada yang doktor you tak serasi, you know, things like that. But to me, I'm here to learn. Even though, kalau my student look at me also, you know, they can learn something out of it juga. Pada Nurin macam tu. And Nurin pun perlukan doktor. So, inilah doktor-doktor Nurin yang daripada Tok Ram, daripada Bonda, daripada Syafinas. Ini macam overall tak Bonda tu performance. Tok Ram 
overall in terms of musical. Even Shafi Naspon in terms of music, music. Even she reminds me to practice my pentatonic last week. You know, some people would like ah, put two pentatonic. You know, but we speak the same language, so benda tu mudah untuk difahami for both of us. So as a coach as well to orang lain, so benda tu. Uh, knowing tak rasa akan mengganggu knowing punya uh, future as a coach. Yeah. Not at all. I love to learn something <laughs> yang kadang-kadang you learn, you dah tahu pun, kadang-kadang you make mistake. And you still make mistake. In your language, maksudnya, you can go... Yeah, I want to hear something yang, uh, yang, yang, yang also, apa aku punya salah ni, I'm not perfect, you know. I know I'm not perfect. Ya Allah bu, kenapa lah soalan ni memang ya. Tanya ke apa tu, nyanyi je. Tak nampak, tak nampak stress tu. Tak nampak stress tu. Tak nampak Sebab ramai orang komen kata, Nuri pun suruh lah, tapi dia menyanyi je. Tak kisah lah kau nak baik buat apa ke, kau nak menyanyi je. Sebenarnya, ada masa stress, ada yang distress tu sebab, of course you want to give your best. First, you want to give your best. Dekat depan tu ada juri-juri yang sangat professional. You know, you buka besan, you buat besan ni pun dia nampak. You know, you know. I know, they know, you know, if I make mistake. I kalau cuba untuk twist benda tu, twist benda tu untuk cover, oh, they know, man, they know, you know. Hmm, so, I, so I, and also at the same time, yeah, I know music, you know. So they know that I, I am, I have the knowledge. Uh, so if the punya pressure too, it's more, you know. But but it's so good that quite challenging when I got the arrangement first and second week that I have to sit down and in front of my piano and learn the melody, then tempo and the patterns, um, rhythmic patterns and things like that. So I learn, bukan benda ni macam Nui masuk, okay, nyanyi je lah, la 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 la, I have to dance and everything. But everything I count, you know, to orang pula tahu kalau arrangement dia, macam mana pula kan, the debash ke debush. Wah, tapi it's amazing punya. Dia bagi idea tak? Sebab tadi, Buan dia cakap, kena cakap dengan ni, kena beritahu. Yes, we have to. Uh, tapi kita akan propose but he will tell us oh no you know benda ni tak sesuai why do you, why do you want to kill yourself or, ada juga benda-benda yang Nuri nak buat macam over my limit you know macam oh i feel like macam i nak buat this note like oh panjang but it's out of my boundary i tak mampu untuk buat benda tu so he will advise he will say that no oh, you you know you sure you want to do this sebab masa rehearse mas nanti you penat penat satu you have to ambil kira semua ni you penat and then ha, you tak ada masa untuk practice ni why don't you do something yang kalau nak naik tu naik one half level untuk dia ni they say dulu ke untuk jika minggu, empat minggu, lima minggu ni so you akan keluarkan you punya character very oh masya Allah ada orang kata lah saya baca kan nampaknya macam begitu eh hmm. strategi tak ada tak ada tak ada ikut we just follow the the flow actually mm, tapi of course lah every week you want to give something more and more and more and more sebab rasa macam puas tau this is the platform yang, yang you boleh duduk buat concert yang tak ada tempat lain boleh bagi mm -mm, every week cuma ialah 2 minit setengah baru nak eh mm, dah baru nak nak terem dah duduk balik you know? so uh, yalah that's one thing lah about the timing but it's um understandable you rasa tak you as your kelompok peminat yang minat you kalau you masuk nampak you dalam pertandingan tapi bila you sebab donor you kan yang best punya lagu mm -hmm. ada ada ha, betul i perasan ha. but the thing is uh, one thing lah i have a lot of advice from all of you so <laughs> tak ada lagu yang kuat kan yang orang kenal so maybe after this i try but yeah lah, I'm that kind of singer who cari rezeki for attention. It's different kan? Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, speaking of concert, yeah, because last year I did a concert dengan Chris Dayanti, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, ada perancangan... It's the event right? organizer yang batalkan. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, tak ada apa-apa... Alan tak ada lagi. Tak ada. And then they quiet, they quiet yeah. macam tu je. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, because it doesn't happen, so nothing much that we can do lah. Tapi dia bagi I 50% dah. Hmm. Dia dah bagi I 50%. Dia bagi I 50%, so... Okay lah. Tak jadi. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So next year tak ada concert? For now, not yet. I wish I can do my own, but I don't have enough material to do it. Nuri pun tak nak shot sendiri kan? InsyaAllah. Thank you so much you guys. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.